scoring one on five and one on four, making that chord. By the way, we're in drop C, C, G, C, F, A, D, low to high. One on five, one on four. Then open muted. That's it. One, two, one, two. So, just the same as the first riff, with a big open, and then one thing Matt and I do on the second and fourth time, that was the first time, second time, sometimes we'll go to 12, the octave, or we'll do this big open chord, two on three, three on two. Five on one. So maybe sometimes I'll go to 12, sometimes I'll do the open chord, Matt. We just decide what we want when we're doing it live. On the album, I don't remember. I think it's a variation of both as well. And coming out of that, though, a little tail to go into the next riff. So. So just some picking variations there. Same thing though, opens, and one on five and four chord. Fight. Another variation. O three one O three one O. All muted. Playing chords there. Power chord. Excellent. It's on one, and you're just shaking it just enough to give it enough vibrato so where it goes slightly out of pitch. Up to four. Big slide. Matt goes. And that creates that harmony there when he's on one, I'm on four. It sounds like this. Octave chords there. Three on five. Five on three. Not letting the fourth string ring through. It's muted. Make that octave chord, same as a, as a power chord. But we're going to move to the third string instead of the fourth string. Take and slide. Take and slide. Hammering on to five. Same thing, just one pick. Pick, slide.
So same riff. Stay on the six, and then so I'm hitting an artificial harmonic, just exposing a small amount, very small amount of the pick there. Kind of squeeze it in. This is a normal picking. When I want to get the artificial harmonic, I squeeze it in to reveal less of the plastic so that my thumb hits it, hits the string right after the pick. Picking, pulling off the open. Six, pull off the open. the open. Big slow bend on 11 on the six string. Down to power chord on two. Big full power chord with an octave there, barring one on the six string, the fifth string, and the fourth string. And then adding with my pinky the third fret on the third string. And then, just like that original chord, but adding the six in to get that dirty dissonance. So that chord is open on six, one on five, one on four. No six string there. I mean, no, I'm not fretting the six string. It's a dirty dissonant chord. So on the third time I go 11, 11, 10, 9, and then I'll bend the two. You don't have to get that, but if you want to get it, just like the album in live, that's what I do on the third time. Six five on the fifth string, six five on the sixth string. Four, five, four, three. Six, five, six, five, four, five, four, three. And then after four of those, Matt stays there. I go up and harmonize that. Nine, eight, nine, eight, seven, eight, seven, six. Nine, eight, nine, eight, seven, eight, seven, six. Then we both go chords here, these flatted fours. So that's six on the, on the fifth and fourth string, five on the fifth and fourth string, and then power chords. Just the fifth and fourth string. All muted. Same as another riff, just end out with a quick chug and a mute.
flawless victory. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little different style of the quick riffs there. You know, just something a little bit different. If you like that, I got plenty more videos in the quick riffs series. Let me know what you thought of this in the comments below. Uh, best way to find out about new videos too, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that YouTube lets you know when I release a new video. You can also follow me on the socials, Rob Arnold World, everywhere around there. I'll let you guys know about the videos there as well. Um, if you're interested in more, I got a uh, guitar instructional DVD through the Rock House Method that you can check out at robarnoldworld.com slash store. Tips, tricks, soloing, songwriting, all sorts of cool stuff. Sending those out worldwide autographed if you're interested. Only a few left, make sure you act quickly. I've also got a custom Kemper profile pack through tonecrate.com with all those classic Chimera tones you know and love. Elite tones all sorts of cool stuff. Browse the rest of my channel for all sorts of other different things. Guitar lessons, lots of cool stuff. Don't forget you can also help support me and the channel by checking out my Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash Rob Arnold World. Big thanks to all my Patreon supporters, all my subscribers here on YouTube. You guys are the best. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Thanks so much. Good luck with your riffing, your playing, whatever you're working on. Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one.